Hey, what's up, everybody? Steve Schwartz here from LSAT Unplugged, coming to you today to share some advice about what to be doing in the final two months before LSAT test day. Yes, I can't believe it, only two months remaining until you take the LSAT. What do you do over these next two months? Before I get into the specifics, please do me a favor, like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It really helps with that YouTube algorithm. So the final two months, I would recommend, first off, do a quick diagnostic of your foundation, check into whether you're experiencing any particular weak areas. Are grouping logic games giving you trouble? Are flaw logical reasoning questions giving you trouble? Are science reading comprehension passages giving you trouble? Look at, over the course of your entire LSAT journey thus far, what have been the biggest pain points? What have been the biggest areas of struggle? Make a list, note those down, and then take a couple of weeks to solidify those areas. Review some course lesson materials, review some chapters in your prep books, drill those questions by type, bring them up to the highest possible accuracy that you can. Once you've taken a week or two to do that, you want to take the next six weeks or so after that, leading up to test day, to do full-length timed practice tests under realistic test day conditions. If you have standard timing, 35-minute sections, two of those back-to-back, -back, then a quick 10-minute break, then two more back-to-back. -back. Ideally, if you have the time in your schedule, I'd probably recommend doing two timed exams per week along with detailed review of those exams. This will take a lot of time, and you probably won't have too much time for any other LSAT prep if you're reviewing in sufficient depth. If you have a lot of other obligations, if you're busy with work or school or family obligations, totally fine. Even just doing one timed exam per week along with detailed review of that exam could be sufficient. I would look at what are the practice tests you've taken up to this point, if any, and then look at how those went, review those in depth as well, if you haven't done so already, and then take the six to 12 full-length exams that are most recent. As I record this video right now, the most recent exam is 92. So you might want to take the exams in the 80s, the late 80s, starting now, and then build up to exams 90, 91, 92, and so on in the final weeks before test day. In the final week before the exam, if you haven't done so, please go on ProctorU's site, do the equipment check, make sure that your computer, your mic, your webcam are all working properly. Make sure that you're doing your practice tests in LSAC's Law Hub system because it exactly replicates the look and feel that you'll experience on test day unless you have special paper accommodations. Anyway, folks, that's all for now. I hope you found this helpful. Again, please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. It really does help. Thanks for watching, and feel free to reach out if you need anything at all. I'm happy to help. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.